Hey, what's up, y'all? So I've recently been trying to port an application from Node to Dart, and I thought it was a great way to show some of the power of NeoVim uh, and their macros and the macros. So if you see here, I have there's some tests right here, and I want to port these into the Dart testing, the way that Dart tests stuff. So first thing I usually do is I just copy and paste it over, and there's gonna be quite a bit of syntax or errors, but we'll be able to ignore that. So the first thing I do is I look at like a chunk and just like see how it's similar to the other ones. And it's pretty obvious here. You know, you have like three lines of these there and then uh, some line, some more lines are similar here. And then a chunk that's kind of like the same right here. So I like to divide these into like their individual, uh, I guess, changes. So like first here on this line, I want to change it. So it looks more like if you look at this example like this. So I'll create a macro and I'll call it A. And then here I'll want to change it. So like I want to do expect and I'll get rid of that right here. And then I also see that uh, I need to add equals around right here. So I'll change this, uh, I'll change this to equals and then I'll add that. And then I can add a, a semicolon and I can delete the rest of the line. Now go up and go to the beginning of line just so I can more quickly access that macro. Then I'll do it again just to test and it works. All right, and then um, this will also work for these right here. Whoops, okay. So that'll work. So the next thing I can note, I notice I can change is these right here. So I'll uh, label this as B and I'll go to the start of the first item and I'll notice that you notice that I want to add a semicolon to end of these, so I'll just do that. Then I also see that right here, this needs to be changed to be a, um, a function call, so I'll just do that. And then, yeah, that's that seems about right. So I'll save that macro. Uh, so if I undo everything and then go to the beginning, I do add B, it'll change it correctly. So nice. And then the last thing that you can see is that right here, this needs to be changed to be like test. Like, so you can see right here how it starts with test. So I'll create one more macro and I'll call it C. And then here I'll just change it to say test. And then it'll, it can go to end right here and add the function. Uh, then I need to go down a few stops and go like this. And I can add a few tabs, a tab just to make it look better. And then that C. So I have a, so now I have A, B, and C, and each of them do a certain uh, something to each of these chunks. So I can just combine those. So I can create a new macro called um, Q. <laughs> so do create a macro called Q and use all these macros within it. So I'll create Q and then I'll do at C. That'll add the, that'll wrap it. Then I'll want to do uh, three of the A's. So I'll do three at A, then it'll change all those. Uh, then I also want to do three at A's again. It'll change those. Then I'll go to beginning right here. And I want to do, I think it was called B. So I'll do at B, then it'll change that. And then I want to go to the next instance. So I'll go there and yeah. So then now I can do the same thing. I'll just do at Q and then it'll fix that test, at Q, fix that test, at Q, and then so on and so forth. So you can see how just by adding a single, just by creating like a single macro, I was able to quickly do all these tests. You can see like all those, those five or six tests, I was just able to do it in a matter of three or four minutes rather than spending a painting and time just converting each of them um, individually. Mm -hmm.